One of the advantages of having the light on a standard base plate, on a flat one, is that it's very easy to mount and to transport and all that. But the big disadvantage for photo spotting is that the light can, can only tilt down so much. And, and that creates a dead zone under the truss and around the truss. To solve that problem, uh, the best way to install a light is an inverted position. Uh, there are many ways of doing that. You can uh, do it on a permanent installation uh, with some trussing, or if you just want to have it on a regular truss, we at I2R Tech Lighting Solutions sell this inverted bracket for that purpose. So, as you see, the light doesn't have that physical limitation when aiming down close to the truss. And you can see this limitation in action. Uh, we have a setup with one light, light number one to our left, that is placed on the standard flat base plate. And then we have to our right on light number two, a light that is mounted on our I2R lighting solutions inverted bracket. So what I will do is Right now the lights are calibrated and aiming to the same spot. So what I will do is I will move the coordinates of the spot close to one light and then to the other. And that way we'll see uh, the difference. If I move it to the left towards light one with the joystick, we will see that the spotlight, the two lights follow each other and light one reaches a point where it cannot go any closer and that's because the light has that tilt limitation. Now if we have the light inverted hanging from any structure, in our case on the I2R Tech lighting solution inverted bracket, we can see that we can move the coordinates of the spotlight to get close to the truss without that limitation as such. If I move it to the right, we see that the spot keep, keeps going and keeps going and we can actually go all the way to right next to the truss.